going on six or seven years. I remember Charles when he was just like you guys. I remember the transformation in Charles. I remember, I remember when Charles used to be at the correction parties getting cracking. So I remember Charles. I also remember Charles when he made the transition over to becoming a leader. I see it in him. We get Charles talk all the time. Actually, before we even started this organization, Charles, we, we was at a conference and we see other people give motivational speeches. And we were just like, man, we can do this. We, we, we talk to students all day long. But it seemed like within three months, Charles started his own organization. That's when I knew Charles was moving and shaking. Actually, Charles is the whole inspiration behind the Black Male Summit. I see that he made his move. So I say, let me get on it. Even though he's younger than me, you can never, you can, you can always learn from someone. You can always learn from someone. So he's the inspiration for me, as well as the other black man in this room, as well as the other black man on SIU's campus. Because he left his legacy there. I, I actually left my legacy at SIU's campus, because he's, he's part of my legacy at SIU's campus. So my legacy is still, it's, it's there. My legacy on Eastern's campus is very well. So just keep those things in mind that, that he talked about. Um, he did an excellent job. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you for inviting for coming to the and I really appreciate it.
will not make excuses. I will not make excuses. I am not a part of the divine heart. I am not a part of the divine heart. I will make a difference. I will make a difference. I will become a role model to my community, my family, and my peers. I will become a role model to my community, my family, and my peers. <laughs> I will respect my peers and authority figures. I will respect my peers and authority figures. Failure will not be an option. I will always focus. I will always focus. Oh, so some of you guys probably see the acronym. Shh, real quick. What's that? Some of you guys will probably see the acronym and see what focus is. You look on your bed, the bed says focus. I believe that as black men, we always have to focus. But what focus stands for, focus stands for follow on course until successful. As black men, we must always follow on course. I know sometimes we start off on a path, and sometimes we get knocked off. We must always get back home in places and stay on course. So follow the one course until it's essential. Uh, actually, uh, that was one of the most positive things I've ever heard about my life. Um, actually, my father came over with that. So if anybody trying to pass it back or whatever, it's already passed away. But as I pretty recommend, it is important that we always stay focused. Always stay focused. So my father's got, please, just run the course out. You, you may go through trials and tribulations. There are people here at the University who are here to help you. That is the whole purpose behind the sun. The excuses here now. You have no more excuses right now. You know better, you do better. As simple as that. No more excuses. You will always hold it. So keep that in mind. Oh, you got to come in and see. Thank you. So, for your, so if you find yourself feeling down and out, say to yourself this is Say to yourself this free. Keep the positivity in your life. Because if you're not positive about yourself, it is impossible for me to be positive about you. It is impossible for your peers and your authority figures to be positive about you. So stay positive with yourself. Um, real quick, at the end of this Black Tail Summer, and we go on to the reception of the main Warrior, I have a couple quick thank yous. First of all, I'd like to thank Dr. Mona Davenport. Um, she's my immediate uh, supervisor.
I challenge you to go back and, and pick up one or two freshmen and mentor them this year. Mentor them. Lead them and guide them in the way that they should go. For my freshmen, I challenge you to mentor high school students to go back into your communities. Mentor them. Be the example. You guys know what you're facing. You know it's very few of us who are going to in our lives. Be the difference. For the high school students, I challenge you to go back to your grammar schools, mentor those students. We can make a difference if we just grab one person and make a difference in their life. Show them what being positive is all about. So I challenge you, I challenge you all. Um, the time is now. But don't worry about don't worry about tomorrow, don't worry about what happened in the past. It's about right now. It is about right now. It is now. Tomorrow may not come for some of you. All you can worry about is now. Don't think about, well, I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do that tomorrow. That may not happen. That may not happen. Your time is now. Um, in the words, I, I know I said this real cheesy, and I, I, I really hate to quote her at this time in the black man's son, but like Beyonce said, you may be young, but you're ready. You're ready right now. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out.